This lecture continues our discussion of basic electronics with the application of Ohm's law. And if you remember from the previous lecture, I told you that this circle would be very useful and I would recommend that you make a copy of it uh, or if you have to do a Google search and find one that uh, is a little easier to print. Uh, the way the circle works as a review you look in the center of the circle for the unit or the value that you are solving the equation for. P is power, V is voltage, I is current, and R is resistance. And then you look around the outside of the circle in the quadrant where, uh, for the unit you're solving and look for the two items that are given. Another way to look at the basic Ohm's law was the triangles that I showed last lecture. And in this case, you find the one you're solving for with a circle around it. And then the other two are the two that are the given or the known values. And this is for the voltage, current, and resistance. And then likewise, this is for power, current, and voltage. Now, when we apply Ohm's law, the first thing we are going to be looking at is resistive elements, which are things like speakers and microphones and the component resistor. When you have them connected in series, as these three resistors in the picture are, you simply add the resistances together to get the total resistance. 1K the K means kilo or thousand. So you have 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 6,000. And if you add that together, you end up with uh, 9,000 ohms of resistance. So when resistive elements or inductive elements are in series, you simply add the values together to get the total resistance. When resistive or inductive elements are in parallel, if there are more than two items in parallel, the equation is here in the upper left, one over the total resistance is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2, etc. until you uh, have all of the uh, elements added together, uh, the reciprocals of them added together. If you're only talking about two resistors or two inductors, you can use the equation total resistance is equal to R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And this will be the more common equation that you will be using probably for your entire career as an audio engineer. Just know that the other one is out there, but usually you're just... Uh, paralleling two things together so you'll be able to use the equation on the right. Um, Ohm's law and measuring voltage, current, resistance, and power. Voltage indicated with the V with the circle around it is measured across the component that you're measuring. The current or the A with the circle around it is measured in line with the component or circuit that you're measuring. And resistance is also measured across a component, but you have to isolate that component from other components so they don't affect the resistance value. And then to calculate power, you need both the voltage and a current measurement, as we saw in the Ohm's law circle and triangles before. So now the rest of this lecture is going to be just very, very hardcore math, but all of it will be simple if you just follow along with uh, the explanations and look at the, the equations on the slides. So as a review, these are the different equations. The three in the upper left and the three in the upper right are the equations from the two slides with the triangles on them. And then the uh, second row on the left is the resistors in series and the two equations on the right are resistors in parallel remembering you can use the shortcut one on the far right if you only have two resistors or inductors so 
Let's look at a couple equations and we'll use 1 volt, 1 amp, 1 ohm, and 1 watt to start with. The equations are actually pretty simple. 1 volt is equal to 1 amp times 1 ohm, and that's the equation in the upper left hand corner. 1 amp is equal to 1 volt divided by 1 ohm. 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt divided by 1 amp. 1 watt is equal to 1 amp times 1 volt. And 1 amp is equal to 1 watt divided by 1 volt. So these are pretty simple. And of course, when you use 1, the math is, is extremely easy to calculate uh, without a calculator. So now we're going to do some uh, practical applications using these equations. So the first one, if you have an 8 ohm speaker and you are feeding it with a 40 volt signal, what is the current flowing through the speaker wire? Now remember, current is measured in series with the uh, item that you're measuring. So look at what is given. In this particular case, you have an 8 ohm speaker, so that would be a resistance value, and you're feeding it with a 40 volt signal, and you need to solve for the current, which is I, flowing through the speaker wire. So the equation up above that uses resistance, voltage, and current is I equals V over R, V divided by R. So when we solve this, 40 volts divided by 8 ohms is equal to 5 amps. The second problem is you measure 2 amps of current in a wire feeding a 16 ohm speaker. What is the voltage? Again, look at what's given. Current is given, 2 amps, and 16 ohm speaker, that's the resistance and you need to solve for voltage. In this case, you're using the equation in the upper left corner. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. So plug the values in, 2 amps and 16 ohms is a 32-volt uh, signal. Using your voltmeter, you measure 30 volts across a speaker. The current is measured at 2 amps, what is the resistance of the speaker? Again, looking at the uh, problem, you're given voltage and current, and you need to solve for resistance. In this case, we're using the third equation at the top. Resistance is equal to voltage divided by the current. So 30 volts divided by 2 amps is equal to 15 ohms. The next problem has two parts to it. In this case, you look on the back of your power amplifier and you see a label that says 120 volts AC, 20 amps. What does this mean? And what is the maximum power that this amplifier will draw? So for the first uh, question, what does this mean? This is the current rating of the device. Sometimes it's referred to or, or called the power rating. But in order to have the power, you need to calculate the power. But you're given, in this case, the current, which is 20 amps. So what is the maximum power that this amplifier will draw? In this case, we look for an equation that has volts, current, and power. And the power is what we're solving for. So it turns out it's the fourth equation on the top row. Power is equal to the current times the voltage. So 20 amps times 120 volts is equal to 2400 watts. So for the next problem, what is the current for 200 ohms at 1 volt? And again, you look at what's given. 200 ohms is given and 1 volt is given and you're going to solve for current which is I. So we're back to the second equation on the top. Current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. 1 volt divided by 200 ohms is equal to 0 0.005 amps. That can also be expressed as 5 milliamps. 
and basically 1000 milliamps is equal to 1 amp. So if you take the point 0005, multiply it by 1000, that gives you the milliamps. You're basically moving the decimal point over three places to the right to convert from amps to milliamps. So the next problem is a little bit more complicated. We now have two 8 ohm speakers connected in series. That means the wire from one connects to the other and then the two outside wires from the two speakers um, would have the signal connected to them. What is the total resistance or impedance of the two speakers connected in series? And what is the current through both 8 ohm speakers in series at 600 watts? So to solve the first part of the problem, we remember the equation for resistors in series is RT or total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2. And that's simply 8 ohms plus 8 ohms is equal to 16 ohms. Now we will use that R value, RT of 16, to calculate the current through both of these uh, speakers when they're connected in series. And if you notice, the given is 16 ohms and 600 watts. But there's no equation on the top row there to calculate the current when you're given a resistance and a wattage. The wattage is in P and the resistance is in R. So we need to use two equations. So step one, we find the two equations. And the first one is I equals V over R. And the second one is V equals P over I. So what we do is we take the two equations and we substitute for the second equation into the first equation for the voltage. And that gives us the equation in step two. I is equal to power over current times resistance. Multiplying both sides by I moves the I on the lower right to the left side, and you end up with step three, I squared is equal to P over R. Then you can take the square root of both sides, and now we have the current on the left, which is what we're going to solve for. And then it's the square root of the power divided by the resistance. And there's the numbers, and it comes out to 6.12 amps. Now, this is where that circle comes into play. This was an awful lot of math to have to try to figure out um, if you were using just the equations on the top of this page. But if you use the circle, we were given the power and the resistance, and we needed to solve for the current. So looking at the circle, the equation is just given to you. Square root of P over R is equal to the current. So all of this math is simply uh, avoided by using the circle and looking for the current. That's the thing we're solving for. And we're given the power and the resistance. So you just find those items on the circle and that gives you the equation. So for our next problem, instead of having the two speakers in series, they're now in parallel. So the inputs and the outputs of the speakers are connected to each other. So you have two in parallel. And again, if you want to see what the series and the parallel look like, you can go back to the beginning slides of this lecture where it had the picture drawn out of the series and parallel resistors. The speakers would act the same way. So the questions here are the same. What is the total resistance or impedance? And I keep interchanging those two words and we'll understand why a little bit later uh, in another lecture. But um, what is the total resistance or impedance of the two 8 ohm speakers in parallel? And with those two speakers in, in parallel, what is the current flowing through the speakers at 600 watts? So the first problem is the resistors in parallel. And since there's only two, 
we're going to use the shortcut equation. So it's R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So in this case, 8 times 8 divided by 8 plus 8, which is 64 divided by 16, or 4 ohms. Now, if you noticed, when the uh, resistors were in series, they added together. So 8 plus 8 became 16. In this case, they don't add together but they come out to be one half of the individual uh, resistances or impedances. Now don't use that as a shortcut because if the two values are not the same, they will not equal one half. But if they are the same, you can just divide by two as an even shorter shortcut than this equation. But I would recommend using the equation um, RT is equal to R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 just so you get familiar with it. Now again, the equation for this is the same one as the previous when we're trying to calculate the current. It's the square root of the power divided by the resistance. So in this case, it's going to be 600 watts divided by 4 ohms, which gives us the square root of 150 or 12.25 amps are flowing through the, the speakers when they're wired in parallel with a 600 ohm signal. The next problem is what is the power for a 40 volt signal into a 16 ohm load? Now again, if you look at the equations on the top, power, which is I, voltage V, and 16 ohm load R is not one of the uh, equations listed on this page. So to avoid having to combine multiples together, the easiest thing to do is to go back to our circle. And in this case, we're solving for P or power, and we know the voltage and we know the resistance. So the equation is in the upper left quadrant, V squared over R, is equal to P. So when we plug those numbers in for a 40 volt signal into a 16 ohm load, the power is 100 watts. So for our next problem, what is the voltage for a signal of 1000 watts at 5 amps? Again, we do see in this case the equation that we're looking for is in the upper right corner since we know the P which is 1000 watts and we know the current I which is 5 amps we can solve for voltage but again if you remember if you have that circle in front of you you're solving for V and you know P and I you can find it on the circle so it's much easier again to have the circle in front of you when you're trying to do these kind of calculations. So here is that problem solved. V is equal to P over I, or 1000 divided by 5, or 200 volts. I've given you the answers, and you uh, try to solve these on your own using the circle. In this case, for this one, you're given 6 ohms, which is R, and 600 watts, which is P, and you're going to solve it for the current, which is I, and for the voltage, which is V. Use the circle to find the equation that you're looking for, and then take a few moments to solve this, 